rights issue. We're joined now by Denosa's KZN Provincial Secretary, Mandla Shabangu. Mandla, thanks very much for your time this morning. It's a worrying trend. It's one that uh, is hard to understand, given that we have such uh, shortages in hospitals. Uh, good morning, Michelle, and uh, good morning to the nurses at home. Yes, there is a challenge that the country is facing regarding the shortage of nurses in all hospitals and all provinces. Uh, Mandla, how is it possible when we are faced with such massive staff shortages in the country's hospital, how, how is it that we can have thousands of nurses, qualified nurses, that are sitting at home without a job? The problem is not one problem that one can uh, 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 think it is the main cause, but we strongly feel that the main cause is poor planning and lack of leadership in those who are leading in the Ministry of Health. Because we've seen some decisions being made where the employment of these categories have been stopped and the production of them was continuing by private sector, which created a burden in the production of them where you produce people but you don't employ them. We think the problem starts with the regulatory body, which is failing its duty, and the Minister of Health, who needs to guide the health system. So that is where the main problem mm. has been. Mandla, in terms of uh, budget, is that something that might also be contributing to this, the, this problem? Uh, the, the shortage of budgets that we're seeing in health budgets around the country in various provinces, is it possible that the provinces actually can't afford to employ these nurses? We don't think the provinces can afford. We think there's no political will or administrative will to create this post because when you create a, a, a package of the service that is to be delivered, that package has a budget that is attached to it. Now, what we've, we've been observing lately is that the department will come with the plans to say, we want to implement this program. But they don't talk to human resources that will be dealing with that. They talk about everyone else except health care workers, which includes the clerks, the porters, and the nurses. So we strongly feel that the budget is there. It's just that it is misused, or those who are supposed to allocate it properly are failing their duties. So what is the nurse's next step here? Uh, the first step is that we are hopeful that there is a new port in the regulatory report, which is Nursing Council, because we've been crying that we do not have a regulatory report in South Africa that is doing its work. One, the regulatory report is supposed to monitor everything that is talking about the profession, either the production of nurses or how they are trained and where they are working. But this body has failed dismally in this one. The example is that when nursing council approved the college to do training, the first of all, they need to know where will those nurses be working. Two, they need to see the environment where these people are being trained and where are they going to apply their clinical exposure so that they produce a proper nurse. So now what has been happening, nursing council has been failing to do its duties in one dealing with the issue of staff uh, uh, ratio, where one will say, if you nurse 10 patients, you need so many nurses. So that one has not been done. That is why people are now thinking we have enough nurses, but they are not looking on the disease profile that has increased versus the type of nurses that are there in the staff establishment. So we are hopeful that there's a new board that will be starting next year. Maybe mindset will change because currently nursing council has never transformed and has never performed its duties in ensuring that the profession is being protected and those who are producing nurses are complying with all the regulations that are there. So Mandla, is, is this an issue that Denosa will now try to take forward, will try to resolve uh, working together with the nursing council? We've tried in the past uh, uh, in engaging nursing council, but as we said, we seem to look in a situation where there's no political will in correcting these things because we have a minister who has just this bad obsession about nurses who don't like nurses in the country. Any slight provocation he sees, he takes the opportunity to attack nurses instead of correcting all the challenges that are facing the health system 
and nursing council is just sitting there doing nothing while nurses are being under oppressed by the employer and by the same nursing council which is still applying the old apartheid system type of regulations that are not talking to the current situation that is facing the profession. All right, so still a long way to go to try and resolve this issue. Uh, the high number of unemployed nurses, a uh, bizarre trend given uh, the reports of staff shortages we've seen at hospitals around the country. Denosis KZN Provincial Secretary Mandla Shabango joining us from our studios in Durban.